Hello everyone, it's your boy Sean back with another Summoner's World video. So in this video, I uh, will be showing you a fully farmable, obtainable team for TOA 40 to TOA 100 for this month's male boss cycle. So the strategy of this team is basically using Barrera to deal continuous damage to the wave as well as to the surrounding units around the boss and using Spectra to deal a lot of damage to the boss. As you can see here, this is the new stage of TOA normal this cycle and in my opinion, the stage is actually will be quite troublesome if it moves to let's say stage 80 or 90 because there will be a lot of stun, armor break, slow from uh, the Taoist, from the Leech and from the boss himself and what you should be doing is try your best to stun uh, the surrounding and use your whatever uh, slow or attack by reduction skill on the boss to stop him from moving and slowing your whole team. You can use Spectra or you can use Shannon. I think they both work and for this stage over here is actually fairly simple because most of them will be stunned up and they are dark so there will be no chance for you to do glancing for your CC and using Shannon or Spectra is uh, I think in your preference but uh, a lot of people tell me that they don't want to build their Shannon because Shannon is a 2 star, she's a very weak unit and you cannot scale to late game so I'm trying to show Spectra here so we have more variety and this is another new stage of TOA normal this month uh, show, showcasing the wind monkey and a lot of stupid counter attack unit that you can see here so the key strategy is again try to stun them so they don't counter attack you and uh, CC you because the bear can actually reduce attack bar the elven and ranger can slow you and the monkey can stun you so try to stun them if you cannot stun them then try to hit at least one elven ranger so that there will be only two units trying to counter attack you if you have stunned both the elven ranger then you can start focusing on the monkey because he will be not uh, counter attacking you if you are attacking him so as you can see here uh, I stun uh, all of them and try and hit the monkey with my spectra if you cannot kill the monkey with your Vermos damage or your spectra damage or you are using Shannon you can slowly uh, use continuous damage to kill the surrounding before you try to attempt to kill the boss himself so Stage 90, 80 this month, I think is one of the easiest stage of TOA normal male boss cycle because basically the, the two Epicom priests doesn't do anything to you and your team except for maybe trying to kill your Bella which I don't think will happen in any time soon. So what I did here is using continuous damage to kill them and then start focusing on the boss. Here we are with another new stage of this TOA cycle. So, for this stage, uh, a lot of people think that it will be uh, very troublesome. However, I think it's actually very easy because if you can stun them, then they have they can do they cannot do anything to you, and you can just slowly kill them with your Beretta continuous damage and try to apply attack debuff on Sylvia as much as possible as well as the turbulence so that she doesn't move that much and if she can actually move she will not do a lot of damage to your team so as long as they are stunned up I don't think there will be a lot of problem at, especially if you can stun the Verdehau then it will be much easier because the Cadiz the most he can do is trying to heal the boss for very little as well as trying to put branding on your Bella which your very most will cleanse in uh, blink of an eye and now we are free to focus on the boss Sylvia alone is not a threat at all 
and it's very easy to kill. I'll be also be showing you uh, how to attempt killing the boss with this team right here with Only Spectra as the damage dealer. So for TOA, you can do a lot of different strategy. You can um, bomb them, you can use continuous damage, you can use Teomas as a single damage dealer and nuke everything one by one slowly. You can also use like double lucian to clear the earlier stage fast like a lot of guardian player do but I don't really recommend for new player trying to using lucian uh, in TOA because it's not very easy to achieve that kind of rule requirement. So this team here is I think is one of the most consistent easy to obtain and easy to build as well because uh, most of the rune that you will need for this team to function in TOA is from Giants B10. Uh, the spare rune, swoop rune is very good. Of course, violent rune is a plus for everyone. If you have violent rune for your Bella, if you have violent rune for Veramos, then things will become much much easier as you have more heals, you have more stun, you have more dots from Veramos and as well as Spectra, people like Swift, people like Violent, I like my um, Violent because I can deal, use the second skill much more often and kill the boss much faster. So if you are not clearing TOA, you should be trying to focus on these kind of units. Um, they are quite versatile in my opinion, you can use them later in other dungeons your dragons will use Veramos, Bella and Spectra even Varela as well your giants will be seeing a lot of Bernard Runes for TOA unit doesn't really matter what kind of set, subset you use as long as you can achieve around 50% accuracy 20,000 HP 160, 180 speed I think that will be more than enough to clear TOA normal before I end this video, I want to show a simple guild war as well. My guild is acv.vn. We are Vietnamese guild in Asia server. Guardian 1 most of the time. So for the first team, I'll be using my typical Teomas, Bella, Delphoi team. And for the second one, I'll be using my favorite girl, Katarina. Yay! For the first one, I think it'll be fairly simple. Uh, as long as the, the stupid oracle doesn't move first and remove all my buff as well as stun me. So as you can see here, I move first trying to seize the buff successful, reduce the cooldown and one lucky violent pop. I think I'll save this one. Okay, violent. Oh, no violent. Okay, we'll slowly kill them one by one. Get some attack bar, stun her, uh, and slow her, kill her. Next, we move on to Chloe. I hate draw time. I wish I had one, but I don't. Okay, let's get more attack bar. No fanatic for me. Bam! Gone. Okay. I wish I don't. I think I will not lose Bella. Mm, more armor to the face. Bam, gone. This is very safe team. So come on, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. One on each. Boom. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, oh fuck. Come on man. What the fuck? Is that Darren on despair? New mana game right there, man. They run on spare rune. Kill they run. No crit. I think I'll do so with her for more invisibility. Okay. Increase of discharge to the face. I love this comment. man. So strong. And what horrors is now farmable? Why not, right? Oh, my favorite food, Sierra Combs. 
what I love to do with Sierra Com is bring my people see worst net first Rakan in as well as a wheel rune non fire unit. For the second one, I'll be showing you a farmable in a sense com favorite com in UOR for me. So let's see what they can do. Bam, bam, nothing. Okay, bye, Lucian. Bye, Sierra. Oh, she survived. But never mind. She'll be gone in. Bam! Bye. Nice. Okay, let's just kill this for now and move on. Stop wasting my time, man. Okay, let's see what this farm Volcom can do. Okay, one on each. One on each. Come on. Boom. Nice, nice, nice. Woo -hoo. If you don't have a good guild war offensive team, feel this shit is very good. And Katarina, as unlucky as it may seem, is very good in guild war. So for the first one, I think I can get away with using this farmable comb as well, as well as you can kill the Hodam and kill the Eladril, it's pretty much safe. For the second one, I'll be showing you Copper, my Copper. Not as strong, but uh, usable in Guild Wars. Okay, let's see where my luck takes me. Come on, Katarina. Oh no, oh no, oh, is this good? Oh, oh shit. Oh, at least he didn't target Katarina. There you go, the violent frog. There you go. Don't stun, don't stun. Oh my, every time. Just now they also stun too, my unit. Okay. At least I think the kill mass is actually quite slow. Nice attack by reduction. Uh, okay. Is this more attack bar? No. Oh, no violence. Okay, now we we'll try to uh, kill the kill mass while kill the Hodan while killing the kill mass. Oh, my banana creep for 30,000. That's what the attack slot for room for, right? Okay. Yeah, another 13,000 creep. Okay, bye bye, Hodan. Nice knowing you. Oh, it was actually enough to kill the Eliashua. Okay, Copper, do your shit. It's gonna be like 40,000, 42,000. Fairly enough for Bella and you are. Okay, do reset. Throw some thunder into the face. Marching shout. Hi, Vermont. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am very sorry if I sound very awkward and weird sometimes because this is the first time that I record myself playing Summoner Squad. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't, have, have fun summoning and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye bye.